You can now have Night City looking like World War III by reaching five stars in the new prevention system. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall, and before you play Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, you should know that this is the only expansion that this game is going to receive. So it makes sense why they're going out with a bang by rehauling basically the entire game, the cop system, and Idris Elba. Like, how is CD Projekt Red affording these two actors? The drugs. Today, I'm gonna give you everything you need before you play Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. Before we begin, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like this video, and if you end up enjoying it here at my channel, know that I keep you up to date with the latest open world game news like Cyberpunk, superhero games, and video essays where I go deeper into other gaming topics. Other links in the description box below, Thanks, crew. In Cyberpunk, the life paths have always been one of my favorite parts about the game, even with it being severely lacking. For newcomers to the game, I highly suggest always choosing life path specific dialogue options. This will mix up your playthroughs and it will provide more story for your V. I'm really hoping that CD Projekt Red redeems this feature, but who knows? I do know that they are going to redeem that sorry ass excuse for a cop system. The prevention system like GTA will have a five tier system measured in heat. Once you reach peak, max tack, pull up and it becomes a mini boss experience with different archetypes. If they're anything like the show, we're fucked. Combined with the new vehicle combat that allows you to shoot out the window, quick hacks, and vehicle weapons, it's about to look like World War III in Night City. Phantom Liberty is a paid expansion exclusive to current gen consoles and PC. With that being said, there are gonna be some things that are exclusive to buyers and some things that aren't. What I said previously is going to be free for everybody because that is coming in the Cyberpunk 2.0 update. Dogtown is not. Dogtown is the new district being added exclusively for Phantom Liberty, and it will be filled with new quests and gigs, new activities like vehicle missions and airdrops. Phantom Liberty is a spy thriller, and in it, you will meet characters like Solomon Reed, the president of the new United States of America, Alina, and more. With these new characters coming in, I wonder who you're going to be able to romance because your sex does matter with who you can get with. So newcomers, if you want to get with Judy, play as female V. Compared to the base game, Phantom Liberty will not feature new romance options. If you're a horny dog like me, this news is disappointing, but there will be other activities in that vein. Although I didn't even use them as much, I like the melee weapons in this game especially the new ones coming. I can't wait to do this. Get this show on the road. But if you're like me that only uses guns, we are in for a treat. The only disappointing news is that there is little information, but is that really disappointing news? Because we're going to find out the 26, the SMGs are going to be able to be used like GTA where you just be spraying people out the window of your car. The level increase in Phantom Liberty has been increased to level 60 now. This will help out with all the new abilities and the revamped system. The old system was stat-based passive perks, which oftentimes made you feel like it didn't do shit. Now there is a greater emphasis on active skills. It gets better. Some skills are even inspired by the Edge Runners anime. In addition, the relic skill tree will open up, enhancing players to new cybernetic abilities. As we get closer to September 26th, I realized that after this, cyberpunk is over. At least for me, I ain't coming back. I finished this game back in 2020, along with many other players. So. We've been waiting a long time for this. Cyberpunk 2 is going to take a long time to release. Shit, GTA 6 will have released way before then. Cyberpunk was a disastrous and ambitious title. Yes, it had flaws, but it executed flawlessly in many ways, even when it had bugs. Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty is primed to be the perfect swan song to end this roller coaster life of cyberpunk 2077 thanks for watching today's video guys as always you already know i'm ken wall remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon